Do you think this should be Dak's last year in Dallas if he's franchise tagged again? I think it will be, and I think it should be, because I think it's just the latest piece of evidence that shows, for some reason, uh, Jerry Jones is just averse to making a long-term investment in Dak Prescott and lets us completely under his conditions. Excuse me, I was getting ready to sneeze. Um, that's the really, that's really the bottom Bless line. You. And, and 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 for me personally, here's Elf. what I come down to: it's consistent with what Jerry Jones has done since Dak Prescott arrived in this league. People keep forgetting that. There's a pattern here. When Dak Prescott first arrived in this league as a rookie, he was playing lights out in the preseason. Tony Romo was, uh, you know, was enduring questionable health, um, and, and was and, and people were contemplating whether or not he'd even play anymore. And Jerry Jones held on for dear life to the prospect of Tony Romo returning. He was very, very, very reluctant to give the reins to Dak Prescott. And people try to forget that, but I never have. And I said to myself, excuse me, what is this about? Tony Romo clearly was gifted, but in the same breath, he had a special relationship with Jerry Jones. Nobody denies that. Everybody knows it. And Jerry Jones was reluctant to give the realms to Dak Prescott. Well, he ultimately had no choice because Tony Romo would retire and obviously become a star in the broadcast booth, which we all recognize. Dak Prescott has been balling ever since. He's 42 and 27 as a starter. He's had nearly 5,000 yard passing seasons, 30 touchdowns, 11 interceptions coming into last season. All right, based on what he did in 2019, he's got he's he's had he's he's got him to the playoffs twice. He's won a playoff game. Okay, this is a guy that clearly is the leader of the franchise. He's basically the umbilical cord to Jerry Jones in terms of the Colin Kaepernick issues, the social justice issues, the manner in which he conducts himself and is the face of the Cowboys franchise. He has been as close to a model citizen as it gets for the Dallas Cowboys. And still, Jerry Jones as it can't, can't reach an accord with him. And think about this, Max, and I'll hand it off to you by saying this. Think about this. It's not like Jerry Jones, oh, my goodness, don't want to sign him. Oh, no. It's that Dak Prescott wanted to sign four for four years coming in the last season. Jerry Jones wants him for five. Now Dak Prescott wants him for three. Jerry Jones wants him for longer than that. I know salary cap situations, CBA negotiations coming up, all of those <laughs> things play a role. But, my God, it's like backwards and stuff. Anything it takes to not commit to this dude on terms that he has earned, is what Jerry Jones seems hell-bent on doing. The Dallas Cowboys will pay for this. They will pay for this daily. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's just further evidence why they'll never win a Super Bowl in Jerry Jones' lifetime. This should not be Dak's last year in Dallas if they franchise him because he's in the driver's seat. He, I mean, right now, Dak is sitting pretty. By the way, when you talk about all that stuff with Dak, the only thing I can come up with, Stephen A., is Jerry Jones keeping the Cowboys' name in the news because heavens knows it's not because they win Super Bowls, right? So this is we a way that. to get us talking about that. the Dallas Cowboys. Otherwise, yeah. it doesn't make sense. Think about this. Ed Werder, I thought, put it beautifully on Get Up. I think it was last week. Jerry Jones and the Cowboys so wanted that extra fifth year of Dak Prescott. They so wanted that that they wouldn't take four years to the point where they traded it for one year of Dak Prescott. You want five so bad that you take one over four? It's insanity. Now consider this, the franchise tag. He made $32 million almost, guaranteed. When he got hurt, didn't matter. That money was guaranteed last year. He's about to make $37 million on the franchise tag this year if they play him. There's 70 over two, right? He's well over 50 million next year if they were to franchise him again. There's your 120 million over three years. It's 40 a year just like he wants. What can Jerry do? It's worse than that for Jerry Jones, Stephen A, because you prorate those signing bonuses. The bonus is the guaranteed portion of the contract. So all that guaranteed money, you could say, well, this is over X number of years. It's this much guaranteed. <clears throat> you can't with a franchise tag. It all counts against the cap. You think the Cowboys are going to have 53, 54 million counting against the cap for their quarterback next year? No way. But you know what else it means, Stephen A? His number goes up because if they franchise him this year and they don't have him to a long-term deal next year, he's like, you want to franchise me again? Go ahead. That'd be 54 million or whatever it is, please. 
just for one year. So now what's his price for a three-year or a two-year deal? Oh, if you're going to get over 50 for this year, now a two-year deal is going to cost the Cowboys guaranteed over $100 million for two years. So why would that go anywhere? This is a remember how Kirk Cousins made off with all those franchise tags? This is that on steroids. Dak is sitting pretty right now. Listen, I don't disagree with anything that you're saying. The point is, is that at the end of the day, what it comes down to is that, you know, I lean on what Jerry Jones has been doing since Dak Prescott arrived in the NFL. He's never, he's never fully embraced this guy. The, glow, the most glowing words we've ever heard about Dak Prescott from Jerry Jones is when Dak Prescott broke his ankle and was out for the year. And you knew he was out for the year. So you were sad for him and you gave him a lot of love at that particular moment in time. You certainly didn't give it to him before or prior to that time. And we know that Dak Prescott has earned a long-term deal. We know that he has earned a contract commiserate with the Carson Wentz, the Jared Goffs of the world and others. And we know that Jerry Jones to some degree has offered that. But to want to lock this man in, just think about it. You're Jerry Jones. What are you, 78 years old? 78 years old. You haven't won a Super Bowl in the last quarter century. OK, you got about three playoff wins on your resume in that span and you're sitting there and holding out on a guy because you want him for five or more years as opposed to the four he wants to sign for. That's the reason at yeah. age 78, 20, a quarter century removed from winning your last title that you holding out on this guy. Tell me what type of sense that makes. That makes no sense. Yeah. And let me wrap this up by piggybacking on what you just said. So Goff and Wentz, guys, obviously drafted ahead of him. Both have since been traded. And Dak has a better career QBR than both of them. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.